How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobile Tech and today I'm going to show you how to permanently delete any app from your iPhone and also from iCloud. So if you want all data, all files, all content from an app completely gone, this is the video for you. Let's get started. But before we move on, I'd like to invite you to have a look at my Instagram at Daniel About Tech. I create content every single day, especially here in my Instagram stories, where I show you my everyday life, I show you my routine, and of course, I give you a ton of content on Apple and on the Apple universe as well, as you can see. And all of the content right here is international and subtitled in English as well, all right? So let's get started. And before we go ahead, tap and hold and delete the app that we want, I recommend that you actually go ahead and first open up your settings and then go to iCloud, your Apple ID, right? Your name right here at this top banner. And then go ahead here and tap on iCloud once again. And right here, we're gonna actually delete the iCloud content first, the iCloud data and files related to that app that you want gone, right? First, okay? So let's go ahead here and first tap on Manage Account Storage. Let it load, sometimes it takes a while. And have a look if the app you want to delete actually is right here on this list. It may be. It may not be so go ahead and have a look if it is of course you go ahead and you tap on it and then let it load and then delete data from iCloud just like that okay permanently delete as you can see if it is not here no problem there are other places that the data from that app may be hidden we're gonna take a look at all of them okay so come back now and then have a look at iCloud Drive because sometimes apps actually store data in iCloud Drive. I have a specific video just on iCloud Drive. If you're interested in understanding better iCloud Drive, go ahead and take a look at card here, link in the description. And as you can see, app syncing to iCloud Drive, I have seven, same thing here. If the app that you want gone is on this list, go ahead here and simply disable it as I'm doing right here. Coming back once again, right here on our iCloud, and it actually has to do with our iCloud backup right here. Maybe you don't have an iCloud backup. If you don't, no problem. If you do, it'll show up right here, just like you can see this iPhone right here, all right? So tap on it and then let it load once again. It may take a while. And then you'll have here all of your apps that are actually in your backup, that actually have data within your backup. So for this video, I'm gonna delete CapCut, all right? As you can see right here, CapCut is taking up five gigabytes of my iPhone backup. So if I want it gone, I'm gonna go ahead and disable it right here and turn it off, all right? And now, last but not least, we come back one final time right here to our iCloud section, and we actually go to this show all just to see if that app that we want gone is right here using iCloud, as you can see. If it is, you just go through, as you can see right here, go ahead, go through the list, and you go ahead and disable it, all right? As you can see, I'm just gonna give you an example right here, so it's gone, okay? So, now that we have removed every single thing from that app from iCloud, okay, we may go ahead and go to the app itself. As I said, I'm using CapCut as an example for this video, right? And then we do the normal process of tap and hold and then remove app and then delete app. And that's very important because many people tap on remove from home screen and then they're not really deleting the app, right? You have to delete the app. I'm gonna show you just if that's your case. If you go ahead and remove from home screen, it's gone, but it's still here. It's actually in the last page in the app library. So what you wanna do is actually tap on the search and then go ahead here and look for, in this example, CapCut, and then tap and hold, and then delete app, and delete, and then it's finally gone. If you have a subscription on the app, it's gonna ask you, in my case, I wanna keep my subscription. If you don't, you just cancel subscription altogether. And then you have successfully removed, right, an app with all of its data, files, everything from the iPhone and from iCloud as well. And I know some people are gonna say, 
Yeah, Daniel, but I can't delete the app. When I go ahead and tap and hold, I either don't see the remove app option or when I tap on remove app, it actually opens the app. So it's not really deleting the app. And guys, don't worry, that has to do with screen time. So we go ahead, tap on settings, scroll down, tap on screen time, and then you go to content and privacy restrictions, then that's it, it's only a restriction. So go ahead here and go to iTunes and App Store Purchases and then Deleting Apps. And as you can see on mine, of course, it says Allow. That's why I can delete apps. But on yours, it'll say Don't Allow. So then that's why you can't delete an app. All you have to do is tap on Allow, then come back and delete it just like I showed you. If you can't get to this menu, if it asks for a passcode, then you have to get the passcode. There's no way to bypass that, all right? If you are not the owner of the iPhone or anything like that, you will need to get the passcode from the owner, all right? But that's how it works. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye bye.